Hi guys, this is Debbie with Debbie J's Crafting Corner. Today I'm making a couple of cards using the, I forgot what the name of the collection was, but it's the one with all the cute pies in it. <laughs> this is just such a fun one. It, oh, it is called Pie Perfection. And I'm right now working with two of the die sets. We've got Dish It Up, which has all of these cool tools for dishing up your piece of pie. And then we've got Perfect Pies, which makes another pie. Now you probably remember I did do another pie video that was actually as part of the unboxing of the collections back almost a month ago and I made a cute little tiny pie which is about like this big it's so adorable but now we've got a little bit of a larger one and it's going to be a side view so this is going to be pretty cool I've already cut out my pieces so for our utensils over here from dish it up we've got a spoon and a knife and I use the silver mirror cardstock for this guys because it is just I want it to look like silverware right so it looks all nice and shiny and looks like silverware so I've got some forks and then we have our pie server so we've got our big old pie server here so I'm gonna be using those in my card and then I've also cut out a couple of different pies so this piece I cut out a couple of those might be easier if I just dumped them out of this container. I've got my little serving platter. I may do another one of those, haven't decided yet. I've got a couple of the dish. So I've got one here and here. So I've got the pieces to make two pies, right? I've got this piece, which is basically that, um, I think of it, it looks kind of like a lattice, but that would go over the top of our pie. And I am going to ink that up a little bit. And then I've got this piece, which is the edge of our crust. And I've got that one where I'm going to, I'm also going to be um, inking that up as well. And then I've got this little tiny piece of like meringue or frosting or something that's from that. Now there are some additional pieces that I'm not going to be using for my card today, but here are the basic things that I've already die cut for this card. So let me go ahead and start assembling. Okay, so I am going to start off with a little bit of vintage photo just to give a little bit of a baked look to all my my crust pieces and I'm just using a makeup brush I think I got this one from I don't know Dollar Tree probably I'm not putting a lot on but because of this is already die cut it's going to kind of gather on all of those cut age oh, it's going to kind of gather at the cut edges so I'm doing the same thing for this piece of the crust. It has some embossed lines that you can see a little bit better as I'm adding some ink. And again, this is just to give it a little bit of a baked look. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. And I think I'm going to blend a little bit on the two pie tins. And hopefully this one isn't, <laughs> I can't tell what color has been on it most, um, most recent. I think it's just where it was. I was doing some ink blending and some of the other colors got on it. So I'm not putting a lot of ink on there. And to be honest, I don't care if it blends well or not. Um, I'm just wanting to add a little bit of interest to that. So we're going to go with that. That's a little bit of a deeper orange now. I mean, a deeper yellow now. I think I'm going to go with some Kitsch Flamingo for this one. And I'm using my red brush. It looks like it doesn't really have anything left on it, which is good. And for whatever reason, it doesn't seem like it's picking up much, but looks like the ink is, the, the ink pad is still a little bit juicy, which is good, but it's not picking up on my brush really that much. That will work now that I've got a little bit more in there. I think I'll add a little bit of the pink raspberry and add a little bit of a darker pink. And again, it's just kind of give it a little bit of texture. And I think what I'm going to also do to give them both a little bit of texture, I'm just going to add a little bit of splatter on them, just a touch. Okay, I think I like those, so let me get my brushes out of the way. 
Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting together the first card. The first one, I'm going to make it look kind of like it's got... That needs to be trimmed down a little bit more, though. Um, I'm going to make it look kind of like it is in a kitchen. And this, I think, looks like some pretty wallpaper. Uh, let's see... That needs to be at least a quarter inch further back, but I am going to add another quarter inch because I also have a piece that's going to be acting as the countertop. And I'm going to go in again with some of that brown ink and just kind of just dress that up just a touch to make it look more like wood grain. And I think that's going to be right about the right amount. That looks pretty good. I'm actually shocked. I'm actually kind of shocked <laughs> that it was that easy. Which means I don't do that technique very much, right guys? Okay, so this is going to be my wallpaper. So I want to bring it in about a, a half inch from each of the corners. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere that down using my dot liner adhesive. And that one, of course, is now running out, so I need to grab another one. And so I'm just going to position it, like I said, about a half inch from, or quarter inch rather, from the top and side edges. There we go. And I can put my little countertop down. And again, bringing it up just about that quarter inch as well. And for a lot of this, I'm going to use some foam. I should probably start putting together my pies. So I am going to adhere these together. Now, the way that this one works, if I have the, have the edges of it all the way up to the top, you know, it's showing too much there. So I've got to slide it down enough so it has a perfect match. So I'm just going to add a little bit of my art glitter glue across the top here. And then I can put it, put my pie filling, all the pie goodiness on the back right there. So that looks pretty good. And now I'm going to put one of my lattices over the top. So this is going to be like a cherry pie. Making sure to get the ends. Get all those little tips on there pretty well. Make sure that all of that is adhered down. Okay, let me go ahead and just line that up. Should line up pretty easily right up against that edge. It does look like it's a little bit over the top, but I think that that kind of makes it look a little bit more dimensional. So I think I like that. And I can use my little piece of pie crust here. Except I think I want to put some foam tape on the back of that and pop that up just a touch. Give it a little bit more dimension as well. This is some, <clears throat> some about quarter inch. So now I'm going to cut it down to about an eighth of an inch and try to slide it behind that pie crust. And it does look like I got it right about the halfway mark, which is good. And I'm taking the other piece of release paper off because that makes it easier to curve. Now this doesn't need much of a curve, but it does have a little bit of a one, so I like that a little bit better. Then also going to put a little bit of art glitter glue on the back because you know me I'm probably gonna need to adjust it now I can pop that right up here okay I'm gonna center it right in the middle there we go so that is now ready to go on my card awesome so let me go ahead and add the little dish down first Okay, and then I can add this up. It does need a little bit of foam on the back of the top. And just so that I make sure that it's the same thickness, I'm going to use another piece of the fun foam. Okay, and 
now I can add some adhesive to both. I think that pie looks yummy! Okay, so now we need to give them a little bit of silverware to go along with this. So first I'm gonna have my pie thing there, my little um, pie server. So I need a little bit of that foam on the back of there. And it looks like this should be right about the right size for that. Let me cut this down. Then I'll put a little piece of foam down here at the bottom as well. That is cute. I mean, to me it doesn't look like it's quite the way it's supposed to be because I didn't have enough room on my card, of course, for the entire thing. But that is still okay. Um, I have, additionally, I also cut out a sentiment and I'm gonna put this one up here so it's gonna be kinda like a little, like a little um, picture in there and I got home sweet home kind of thing that this one is gonna say, have a sweet birthday. And I think I do want some foam on the back of it as well. Okay, so that I think is gonna work. So that is my first card. Okay, so for the second card, I'm going to use a piece of pattern paper. I forgot, this one doesn't work. It's empty. <laughs> so let me go ahead and grab this other one. This will be fine. I'm going to go ahead and just adhere everything directly down onto my card base. Partially because I'm going to go, oh, go ahead and go edge to edge. Okay, and then I've got some leftover. This is kind of a scrap, but this is from where I did another card a couple of days ago. So I'm going to layer that on top as well. I think I am. You know what? I'm going to pop this one up too. And then so it doesn't sag, I'm adding a little bit of foam right close to that frame. And I left one side of the foam on so that it would be easier to put down flat. Okay, and now I can also see that this panel was slightly smaller than my card base. But you know what? I'm just going to trim that little bit of excess off. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to start assembling my little pie. And I did go ahead and cut out, die cut those other pieces out, and did a little bit of ink blending on them. And I did it on some that has got some stick on it. So this is some, I think it's scrapbook.com adhesive. Okay, there we go. Pop out those other two that didn't stick to my fingers yet. Okay, so I'm going to line that up with the edges of my little pie. There we go. Okay, so there's our lemon pie. So I've got my little pie here. That's going to be adorable. Okay, just need a little bit of foam to go on the back of that. Let me go ahead and add this to my card. Uh, 
and then we've got our sentiment and I'm going to add some foam to the back of it as well. Take off the release paper and then add some more art glitter glue on. And as an accent, I am going to add these little guys too. Let me add quite a bit of art glitter glue on the back of this. So let's go with that. Yeah, it is not wanting to stick. Let me try this other adhesive. I do have some score tape and it might work a little bit better. Okay, that seems to be sticking, so that is good. Okay, so let's see how this goes. Seems to be working well. Awesome! And then this one I am going to need a little piece of foam too because of that, um, that little bit of dimension I added there. So I'll snip off a couple little pieces of foam. Okay, and then I need a little piece of my score tape. And that is adorable. And I have a couple of extras, um, extra utensils left over. So that is super cool. Okay, and now I'm going to add a little bit of bling to both of the cards with some of these, uh, some of this heart confetti, just because I think it'd be super cute. So having some of that coming right up out of the little pie. That'll be cute. There we go. I think that needs one more. I usually try to stick to threes, but you know what? I think this just needs that last one. Needs a little tiny one up at the top. There we go. That looks better. And I'm going to do the same kind of design on this one. Oh, and they are just precious. I love, love, love this. So um, that finishes up this video. If you guys would like to see some more videos, card videos, where I'm using some Spellbinders products, be sure to check out this playlist. You guys have a wonderful day. And remember, if I can make it, you can too. Have a great day.